Police across New Hampshire are applauding the drug bust in Manchester, hoping that it will make some dent in the heroin epidemic impacting the state. Tonight, Merrimack Police called a community meeting to talk about the growing problem. Our Gene Mackin was there, and Gene, I understand this got very emotional at times tonight. It really did, Thomas. Parents shared their own struggles, and emergency responders, they delivered a reality check. A mother shares her struggle with a child's heroin addiction. Last Tuesday, I had my life support for two and a half days. He's okay now, but he won't be. First, she finds support in her community. As a parent, I know you love your child. Then, from the experts holding this Merrimack Community Forum on heroin. It's one of the most addictive substances in the world, if you haven't guessed that yet. It can be injected, uh, smoked, or snorted. Merrimack police, rescue, and health workers say they are also seeing the surge in heroin overdoses and now a rise in fentanyl problems as well. They want to talk about it here in homes and schools where they say no one is immune to addiction. These folks that are affected, that are addicted to heroin and or fentanyl or other opioids are people that are functioning in our community right now. Police here don't carry Narcan. The fire department does, but say it's becoming a myth. They can save everyone. We're getting to calls where it's too late. We're getting to calls that we don't even need. We, we can't administer the Narcan because the person has been down for too long. They urge families to look for early signs and find early treatment. And they hope to point parents in the right direction, like this mother. I need help because I'm angry and I'm sad and I'm mad. And I don't know what to do anymore. There is help out there. There's not a lot of treatment. There aren't a lot of resources in this state, but there are some. And one of those resources is the New Hampshire Drug and Alcohol Treatment Locator. Families with questions are urged to log on to nhtreatment.org. We've put a link to that right on our website. Live in the newsroom, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.